Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. This time to talk about more coaxial. This is our quad shield. You're going to want to pay attention, I think. We offer our quad shield in 500 foot and 1,000 foot spools. This is a 500 footer and it comes in black and white. And this is basically the, the monster shielded version of uh, coax, basically. Well, actually, that would be probably more like RG11. But anyway, we're talking about RG6 coax here. And this is quad shield. So it has two braid shields, two foil shields. It has a solid uh, copper center conductor. So it's eminently suitable for satellite installation. And it does have a riser rated jacket, which means it's suitable for commercial installation inside walls, between floors, etc. It just can't go into the plenum space, but you probably already know that. Um, it's not suitable for outdoor application. We will be introducing outdoor versions, uh, but this stuff is uh, very easy to work with. Uh, it, it bends pretty easily for being quad shield, I got to tell you. And um, it's actually a very, it's a joy to work with. Um, when stripping this, and I'll show you how easy it is to strip this, uh, we'll, we'll kind of, I'll show you like one of our tools we had for quite some time. And then if, um, uh, if everyone is able to keep this on the low, uh, I actually have some pre-production F connectors that we're going to be carrying. And they're like easy fit, universal fit, eight seconds to terminate it. No more uh, trying to flare that jacket or anything like that. These really are the coolest F connectors and I had a fun designing them. So uh, just nobody tell anybody and I'll show them to you. We're going to get into this cable and strip it back, put an F connector on and maybe even give you a sneak peek of one of our uh, upcoming tools. So stay tuned. Be right back. Okay, so now we're ready to get into this quad shield cable. Um, this is again our RG6 uh, quad shield riser rated. And uh, it's a pretty thick cable. And uh, But we've got some tools that'll make very, very short work of this thing. Uh, to begin with, uh, you're probably familiar with our cut and strip tool. I'm gonna demonstrate just how easily this cleaves right through quad shield. So it fits right through there and hey, what do you know? Look at that cleaved right through there. Oh, uh, one note, do not attempt to cut copper clad steel with this tool. It will destroy the blade. We do not sell copper clad steel, but just in case you come across it, don't use this for it. All right, so now as far as stripping the stuff, easy. Just put your cable into the RG6 stripping cavity here to this point where the black end of the cable is going right to the edge of the green. And you're going to start turning the tool and it's going to start cutting through the first layer of the strip or the first section of the strip, which is the quarter inch, the first quarter inch. And you can hear it. And then it'll stop making that crunching noise. And then what it's doing is it's starting to cut into the rear for the last uh, quarter inch part of the strip. And as soon as you hear it starting to cut into braid shield again, stop. right about there. All right, so that's the first quarter inch. And then you got this last quarter inch. And you know I have a successful strip here because when I pulled this off on the last quarter inch, a bunch of this braid shield didn't end up here. If it does, you cut too much braid off, you should cut your cable and start again uh, because this braid shield is important because it's part of the circuit for uh, RG6 cable. So. Uh, however, uh, being that it's a squad shield, uh, it does require a more prep and, and a little more detail work than uh, the double shield. So you want to go ahead and brush back this first braid shield that's on there, get it out of the way, get it all backwards. And at this point, you now have this foil shield. However, there's another braid shield below that foil shield. So we need to get that foil shield off. Now, you can carefully cut here at the very edge uh, with a razor blade and then peel it off that way. I prefer to use nippers because it's just a little less risky. Uh, so I'm going to find the edge. There we go. That's the, braid, that's the foil shield right there. And I'm going to kind of go like that. And then I'm going to cut or make a nip right where that braid shield 
starts right there. And then I'm going to take that foil shield off and it's gone. So essentially what you have now is another braid shield. And so that has to be combed back as well. So get out your, your uh, Velcro uh, device here on the cut and strip tool. And get that all going backwards. Get it all nice and even. And just about there. It's always good to be detail oriented about these types of things. So now you got a lot of braid shielding there. You got a foil shield and then you've got your solid copper conductor. And putting on the F connector, well, I mean, honestly speaking, if you're using a typical F connector you buy at Home or Home Depot, Lowe, something like that, you're going to be dealing one probably with one that um, uses a sleeve system that has to get between the braid shield and um, the uh, the first, in other words, has to get between the cable jacket and the braid shield. So those things are a bear to put on. Oftentimes you'll have to use a, what's known as a flaring tool. Not with ours. Uh, now these aren't released yet. Uh, these are still in production, but this is a actual production sample. And it is a compression connector meant for RG6. It's got a pull mechanism inside for making contact with this, with this braid shield. And it's very easy to put on to RG6 quad cable. In fact, all you have to do is just simply push it up until it is either exactly flush. The dielectric should be exactly flush with the bottom of the metal here, or it should be just below. So we've got pretty much got it on there as much as it'll go. And if you can kind of see there how it's going, how far it came up. And then your copper conductor is coming past your maybe a sixteenth of an inch. That's fine. You don't want it too long. Uh, you don't want it any longer than an eighth of an inch, actually, because when you go to screw it into something, you could cause damage to the receiving equipment. Uh, so you got your compression connector on there, but uh, what about compressing it? Well, um, I'm not going to talk too terribly much about it other than to say this is our new uh, RG6 compression tool, and I'm just going to quickly demonstrate this thing compressing. Close the gate. There we go. Done. That quick. And so the, the, uh, the, the uh, connector has compressed and it's fully terminated. And believe me when I tell you that this thing is not coming off. So it's really on there good. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, please leave us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. Subscribe to our channel and leave comments below. Uh, please do, uh, if you have some information for us, a better technique or a question, we're happy to get back to you. Anyway, no matter which way it goes, whether it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down, you have a great day and happy networking. <laughs>